Your website is the buy me, see me, and tell me section of your social hub. If you've been looking for ways to get more out of your website, well, here are three things that get the most out of your website. Let me show you how in this video. Let's make a right, left, Do you have what it takes to make a right, left, to you? What's up, good people? I'm Thomas J. Beleza, and welcome to my video. If this is your first time uh, to my channel and you want to learn how to succeed in entertainment, well, do so by subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss out. A basic entertainer website might have a section for headshots or photos, performance, specific files, maybe audio or book reading, maybe even videos for reels or or live performances, and of course, absolutely a contact section and a, uh, a bio that says, this is who I am. But is that necessarily a great website? Is that a website that makes you stand out? Well, how do you make a great website? Because you want a website that qualifies you to your audience, specifically to inform and establish a very clear brand message because you want return visits to your website from people who have emotionally chosen to come to that site. The next three things will help elevate your website to be an experience for your audience. And stay to the end for a helpful tip. One, update your website daily at most, and of course, weekly at minimum. This does a few things. First, it rotates the information and content for your audience. So when they return, your website is ever evolving, changing and growing. And this means they will know that there will be new content and information to absorb every time they come to your website. Second, this creates a need or a desire to come to your website for very specific information about you and your brand. And Thirdly, you want to update your website because they are making an emotional choice to come to your website. So you should have stuff to inform them, information specifically real news about your going ons in your career, be it what you're doing, what you have done, or what you will do. This is the news you report. And you know what? Once they are there checking out some of the news or any other little tidbits of wows, they might become interested and buy something or purchase a potential ticket to go to one of your performances and or buy a DVD, a CD, songs, videos, whatever you have to present to them. Do have a news section. Normally, you would do this on your social media sites, telling people what's going on. Your social media is specifically designed to show the emotional adventure of what's going on in your life, which is ultimately the how you feel about what's going on before, during, and after you do something specific in your field of interest. Believe it or not, what you do and how you do it is inspirational and educational, and if you do it right with your brand message, entertaining for your audience through your social media. Because once you start going, hey, check me out, come to my stuff, you should buy this, you lose them, and that's called pushing because you actually push them away. Believe it or not, your website, if you do it correctly and build a brand message, when they go there, they're going there to buy the things. So you can say, hey, check this out. And they will check it out because they emotionally chose to go to your website. Instead of just being on social media, boom, check me out. Whoa, dude. I just came here to see stupid cat memes. And besides, your brain might be saying, well, Tom, what do I update my website with continuously, especially if I do it daily, if anything, weekly at minimum. News sections are the most helpful because that is a daily thing. Because if you're doing your job right to run your career in entertainment, there should always be things you have done, there should be things you are doing, and there should be things you are going to do. Three, incorporate your brand's voice. You should be filling up your website with your brand's personality. I'm not saying go all Jim Carrey on me. You know? <laughs> of course, his website is actually down officially, but you can go to this video and check out the craziness and the most beautiful thing in the world that is known as JimCarrey.com. Oh, rest in peace, JimCarrey.com. 
with a beautiful mechanism. I digress. His sight was out of this world, but way beyond what I am suggesting you do with your brand message. Bring down the noise, and his website is a great example of what establishing a brand's voice and a brand's image is all about to create a brand conversation with your audience. You can even check out my website at makearightlefthere.com and you will see my personality, my brand's voice and image all over the place from the first page to the last. Helpful tip! Utilize the real estate of your website. This means to utilize all areas of your website to sell, sell, sell. You're selling your brand's message, your brand's voice, particularly your brand's byproducts, and whatever else you have to offer that they can establish a relationship with, an emotional relationship. All you're trying to do is to sell who you are, what you are, and why you are. This doesn't mean to oversaturate your website and make it all convoluted. Too much information could also backfire and scare people off. As you can see, here is my website. This is my header, showing what the big new thing is for the week, month, or even that particular quarter of the year. The navigation menus are more than where to go. It's my personality, and each new page comes with a different header and a different navigation image. This side is always my flowing information for each page. Basically my news, any videos that are new, and of course keeping people up to date on what brand new byproduct and or event is active for purchase. However, over here is my sell cop. This doesn't necessarily mean you're buying something, but hopefully you're buying into something. What is going on and available for the audience at any given time throughout the year? I change this section from time to time based on the most current or useful item that I am trying to sell. My background is feeding the audience more of my brand. I'm basically saying, this is my logo and my face. Look, memorize. That's why I put that logo everywhere. This is basically what is being said, but I'm doing it in a nicer way. It's not necessarily in your face, but it's in your face. And I have lots of fun little options, like for example, TJB for president. Obviously, I'm not running for president, but I really am. You should donate one dollar to my presidency. I'm running TJB for president. We can if you let me can. But my website has little hidden fun things that represent my personality, either by clicking on direct in your face menu options like TJB for president or even finding the friend icon to discover people that I support and support me. Let your website speak for you to your audience. Let them know what you're trying to say and let them know who your personality is by seeing how visually stunning you are. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like, comment, and share the video along with subscribing for future content. Have questions? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't work too hard, but be productive and look around at the people around you because you want to work together, grow together, and rise together. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Uh, do you punk? Do you punk? Oh dear.